previously on the Short Bus Diaries. So we were like, well, we're going to have to go ahead, get a new bus for volume three. We're not going to be able to use the old one. We've got the entire interior built out as we wanted it. We are headed towards the Colorado border. None of us have really fished Colorado before, so it's nice to get out, explore another part of the country and see what it has to offer. With it being so muddy, we didn't know that first day where the fish are sitting. So we were almost fishing blind, I felt like. Finally, boys. Still stuck in this house with a mind full of doubts Tired of staring out the window Eating too much, drinking too much Tired of watching the grass grow Channel 2, Channel 3, back to Channel 2 I watched everything in my queue So put me on a train, I don't care where it's going Fly me on a plane, maybe out to Wyoming Need an RV, no plans, just you and me I need to go somewhere Well, we drove up a dirt road, mountain pass. The bus ran super hot, continues to run hot. Pass the test though. We'll see. We just woke up there on top of the mountain and uh, just a beautiful, beautiful setting and uh, we were pretty eager to get out and on our way to the next spot. This next spot's gonna be a little bit different than yesterday. Uh, I think it's a little bit smaller water, but it sounds like more our speed. Chili? It's not Alabama water, I'll tell you that. We are finally on the water. Adam and I are in the boat together today. Steve and V are back there. And then the Golden Boys are in the other boat. So we're all just gonna split up, float in this section. I think it's about a 12 mile float that we're we're gonna be on today. Because we're getting on a little later than we hoped, we, uh, we're gonna push down pretty quick through this first half, quarter of a section, and uh, hopefully have time to fish the lower stuff before it gets dark, because apparently that's the, the juice. I've always had luck with consistent weather, be it consistent good or consistent bad. I rarely have luck in kind of flux weather. And that's kind of what happened. As soon as we showed up, pressure changed, cloud cover rolled in, really big change right off the bat as soon as we launched. Ah! A little bit of wind, eh? This. Western wind is no joke. Yeah, that was like a that was like an 18, I swear. Oh there he is! Oh f Did you see him? No. Sorry, I was looking down there. Alright, I'm in the zone. You got any R&D for us, any feedback? Over. Yeah, my, my best feedback is this air conditioner is on high right now. And it's, it's, I need it on like low right now. I do have a couple R&D flies if you guys want to throw something. <laughs> 
Yeah, hey, just attach them to a bobber <laughs> and just let them floating in like a little back eddy and we'll go grab them. Yeah, here, I bought the new blue line patented fly kite and uh, <laughs> I'm going to send you some. We always gotta try some stuff that no one's hit. Let's see if that pays off for us or not. Oh yeah, it, it was kind of subtle, I guess. Not not subtle, but it was just a small part. Oh yeah, there it is. Finally. Wow, have y'all ever fly fish before? Little brown. Brown trout. Brown trout, first one of the day, boys. Let's go. That was a good one. On the board, baby. Let's heat that up. Oh, hey guys. I didn't see you over there. You probably thought that this was just another drone shot of me fishing, but actually, well, well you know what? Why don't you come down here? Let me let me talk to you real quick. Here, just give me that. Uh, so we've been out on the road for several days here and uh, we're kind of concluding the end of our trip. But before we were over, we wanted to talk to you guys about some of our sponsors. Sims has been one of the biggest, most integral parts to Short Bus Diaries Volume 3. So huge shout out to those guys. They hooked us up with a lot of gear. We've been out here in a lot of different elements. It's been raining, it's snowed on us, it's also been hot and sunny. You know, they helped us out with a lot of gear to be able to protect us in all of those different kinds of environments. It's been incredible. Steve, what are you doing? We're, we're trying to film a thing here. What are you doing? We're, we're filming the thing for Sims. Oh yeah, Sims is pretty dope. Well, so one of the things that we wanted to highlight were the Freestone line of waders, packs, and jackets they just came out with. You've seen us wearing them throughout the video. We've got some of the packs. The zipper waders are my favorite. You've seen some of the others been worn. They're incredible, and we all think a lot of the stuff from the Freestone line is the best value for your money. If you're really wanting to get some quality stuff without dropping all of the money on it, definitely check out that Freestone line. This was a super easy partnership for us. Uh, all four of us have been using Sims products for years and the new stuff they gave us has been incredible. This video couldn't have happened without them. So show those guys some love too and let's get back to the video. This is a little bit bigger water. We're about to focus on some water that's a little skinnier, uh, where the river kind of shrinks in and gets a little deeper, which is great. That gives us a little more structure. We've got some darker colored streamers on. We generally do kind of follow that dark day, dark fly, light day, light fly. We've had a couple chases on that, but man, it's been, it's honestly been a little slow, like uh, like our local intel said for the first third of the float. We are the pirates of the fresh water and our booty is liquor. <laughs> and we have the booty and you don't. This is how you ride a boat, folks. Right here. This is side saddle right here. Actually, the person in the front of the boat rode. <laughs> the guy in the middle administers the snacks. No. Oh. Why? Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, I had one of the shark fish swim back and just f***ed it off, but just couldn't get fresh on it. Did we ask you to see? <laughs> I don't give a f I'm telling you what I feel. Also, good luck in your whiskey bag. It really picked up once it got a little more consistent. We missed a ton of fish. We missed more fish than we could count. Oh, oh, oh. He turned on it. Yeah. Oh, oh, there he was. Oh, dude, you see that? There it is. Oh gosh. There it is. 
There we go. Oh my gosh, bro. I'm gonna watch back all these videos and it's just me trout setting every single one. <laughs> Dude, the fly! So we're putting on a new fly. We're downsizing. Downsize for success. It's always the name of the game. Got this little natural can do with some flash. New blue line pattern in the works. We're gonna try this guy out, see what happens. Oh wow, he is jumping, dude. Flung Happy fish. Boat. Right in the middle. Got him. There we are. Let's go. You got a nice brown. First cast, I literally didn't even have the GoPro on. And dude hammered it. Right in the middle, too. We've been catching most of our fish on the bank, but just in some no, nothing water in the middle. You gotta love that. Well, First or second cast with this, and we got one, so that's a good sign. Look at that, folks. Not a bad view here. We're getting towards the end of our float. I think we've got about two miles left. Dude, I feel like the small flies have just been doing the trick right now. <laughs> Drive by. Dude, nice. There it is. It's been a long day for us. Uh, haven't been had too much fish action on the streamer bite. We got a nice one earlier, and we've been just kind of grinding it out here in the evening. Sculptzilla was working for us, so we switched over to that. And got a nice little brown. He came up, and it's been weird. Uh, they've been popping up and uh, hitting them uh, pretty much when they hit the surface. So I saw them boil up the minute it hit the water, missed them, cast right back in there, strip, strip. Next thing I know, he popped it. So good fish, glad we got him, and uh, time to get him back in the water here. You're floating in more than one person, <laughs> like like more than two boats or two plus boats. You need a ring. Absolutely. Oh. Per boat. Uh -oh. oh, let's go, let's go. Sculptorino. <laughs> Dude, I, that one I actually thought was a rock. <laughs> Alright, ready? It's coming. That's a solid fish, dude. Let's go! Finally! Let's go. <laughs> oh, gosh. We worked hard for that one. Yeah, we're right above the takeout, and this guy just hammered it. I'm sure it'll be decent stuff. Finally, boys. Finally. Making Hudson Margs. If you've never had a Hudson Marg, then you just haven't really lived. We're over here creating the concoction. The old town drunk has come up missing. They all think he's drowned. Billy Brown found his hat floating on the river. We've got the Hudson Margs going. We've got a little chili mac. And uh, the boys just got back from the shuttle. So if they're surprised, we're about to have a full meal for them. The deal is, honestly, I think it's a pretty sweet deal for anyone involved. If you bring me a cup with ice, I'll make you a Hudson Margarita. Hudson Mark. I don't even know what's gonna happen. <laughs> First impressions didn't serve it enough. I taste tequila. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm guessing some Sprite and some OJ. That tastes like South Padre Island. <laughs> so my favorite pastime every evening when we get off the water and while Adam's cooking and making drinks, I like to sit on the on the trailer here and just absolutely talk him because that is what I enjoy doing most. Why? because he's a really good chef, and I can't let that get to his head. <laughs> all right, we got our macaroni all strained up. So now we just need to mix it up. So we've got some tomatillo garlic salsa that's just gonna do that. And now we've got some of this business right here that we're just gonna just go like this right here to. Wow. Well, I saw cheese come out of a pouch, so it's, it's a promising thing. If I'm like preparing food for the family, the cheese comes off a grater, you know? But when we're at the river, you know, there's boats around, there's a motorcycle about two feet from that Chili Mac. <laughs> cheese comes from a pouch. It's a very good ratio of beef to noodle. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we're, we're, we're working like straight up 51.49 right there. That, that's, what I, that's what I like. Yeah. 51.49 is what I'm going for. <laughs> Here. 
So, the first flavors that come to mind there, a little bit of me Mexican. You can definitely taste the salsa verde in there. A little bit of spice. The meat's a little bland. I, I think maybe we could have added some more grease in there. Maybe we shouldn't have drained all that off there. And probably would have put an extra pack of Velveeta cheese in there because I mean I do like a little extra cheese in here, especially if I'm floating the next day. It helps clog up the system, so you know you don't have to worry about anything coming out of the river. <laughs> Other than that, though, like I don't have many complaints. I mean, overall, I give it a six out of nine. Delicious. Then the next day was brewery event. So we're driving the bus through the canyon here, and it's just gorgeous everywhere we look. So, so beautiful. Leaves are changing, and we are headed on our way to the meetup. We had a pretty good drive over a pretty serious mountain pass, didn't we, Stephen? Yeah, tell us about that. Yeah, um, so <laughs> I'm from Alabama, and uh, I haven't left the great state of Alabama unlike Adam has, or B has. So I have no idea how to drive in snow. So we got a nice little front that came in earlier and it is dumping snow on us here. The rain quickly turns from rain to sleet into snow, into what I consider a actual blizzard. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm getting past left and right. I had 18 wheeler fly by me. I'm rolling up in this and I'm just like white knuckling on this thing. And you know, to the point that like, if we went off the cliff, I'd still be attached to that damn steering wheel. <laughs> <laughs> We rolled up to the brewery, and this was something that we've never done. This is the first brewery event or meetup that we've ever hosted or put together. We've been planning this for the last couple of months, and we're just super excited to meet a bunch of you guys, and it should be a cool event. So we're gonna head on in there, and uh, see you guys tonight. Restless so timely, tomorrow's unknown mystery. So I'm leaving here, I end up where I wonder how I There's no time to wait, so hand in hand we run this race. Let's end it Let's get them fires over here. Bus. I'm gonna I'm gonna get your opinions as we go through it here. No, it's way bigger than I thought. I don't know how four people sleep in this thing. Four people sleep in here very uncomfortably, Look at I think. This bottom one, like that's just too small. Yeah, that's I mean, they make it work. It's definitely a, a fun place to be though. You get to travel a lot, that's the best part. What you got here on, on the bus tour, Adam? Uh, How's it got, going? Dude, it's good. <laughs> well, well, dude, y'all really clean this place up, man. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna ask, is this how it looks all the time? No. Like yeah. not even close. It's so cool being around like like-minded people that just love being outside and just love the concept of this series right here. It's, it's a total DIY series and I feel like a lot of the people that showed up uh, you know, encapsulated that. It's very nice to be able to just have a conversation with these people and be able to shoot it about fishing and just you know talk to them, meet some new people and just have fun. You hear from people that they got into fly fishing because they found our videos and they like what we're doing. That touched me so much yeah. and was very motivating. I don't know. Sometimes I kind of think, I'm like, is it worth it? I mean, that kind of ran through my head a few times. We were, you know, buying this new bus. It was out of our price range. Spending so much time and quite a bit of money redoing the bus and getting the bus set up. But then seeing everyone, having the people come and talk to us, being, you know, just talking about what parts in the videos they liked or yeah. what, what other films that we did that they liked. I mean, it definitely struck for me that next time I'm like, man, is this free? Is all this work like worth doing it for this? It was like, yeah, it is. I believe that everything up until that point was kind of a precursor to the trip. We headed southwest and then it was time to get to work. What from the map was a right around a three hour drive took us seven and a half hours. But now the rain's starting to come down and the wind's blowing really hard. It's only getting worse from what it is right now. 
bunch of them. There he is. Oh, that's a nice one. <laughs> Man, this is absolutely nuts. Oh, there he is. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. good fish. Well, our shuttle bike either was towed or stolen. 